If you were to travel south from Lima along the coast of Peru, with the Pacific Ocean on your right and the Andes on your left, you would soon arrive at Nazca, a small, modest agricultural community of hard-working descendants of the pre-Incan Indians. This rugged country has long been of interest to archaeologists, having been the site of the great Incan Empire. In recent years, other scientists and researchers have journeyed to this impoverished area in search of traces of an ancient civilization who kept records of visitations of spaceships and space beings. These researchers feel that much that they have found thus far lends support to the theory that aliens did come to this planet and possibly colonized. They argue that the great achievements made by the Incan Empire are totally unexplainable unless the simple Indian people had been guided by beings of much greater intelligence and knowledge. Throughout this area, startling evidence of alien visitation is found in these explicit rock drawings. Modern Swiss writer Eric von Donneken, in Chariots of the Gods, advances the notion that some 30 to 50,000 years ago, visitors from another star system not only landed on Earth, but interbred with the ancient Indians living in the area, leading to the interesting possibility that the present-day Nazcans are the descendants of those alien visitors of the past. of the great Mayan center at Chichen Itza, we can still see the bas reliefs on the remains of the walls of the great temple of the warriors and the many colorful drawings which depict spacemen and spaceships. The same type of carvings and drawings are found in the ruins at Uxmal. In the days when the Mayan civilization flourished, each community depended on a ceremonial center each with its own identity and architectural style. Yet one thing they all had in common was the picture writing depicting the space beings and their ships. It is, of course, possible that visitors from a more advanced civilization did bring to our planet the knowledge of mathematics and physics that were necessary in the building of the pyramids and Stonehenge. As far back as the Middle Ages, men had no doubts. These huge constructions were the work of unearthly beings.